Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Revolution Fighting Championship as I am dealing with the Grand Prix, which will probably ruin whatever financial security I had just based off of uh, things that had happened. Um, I can't remember if I was dealing with... Um, if I was dealing with people jumping in or not, I don't know. You know what? I'll just go till I'll just go throughout the weeks here. Hey, Mike, what's up? <clears throat> Name a fighter after you. I'm sure there's probably somebody we could we could. Someone, someone could, uh, someone could lay claim to. <laughs> I'll just change Boss Rutten to Mike Rutten. <laughs> Should make sense. <laughs> Let's see, Prospect Watch. A lot of people just not. Well, yeah, it always happens at the. End of the month, so right now we're at the very beginning of the month, so at this point I'm just kind of letting the deal do its thing here, and uh, just hoping that I don't get a lot of uh, pop-ups. I need to see this. Uh, he left, grab joining teams. That's good. Minoru Suzuki doing indie shows when I want him to be here, but he's not willing to leave Japan, so... <clears throat> Any Canadian good fighters? Uh, I don't know. Oh, you know what? I I think Carlos Newton was Canadian. Of course, he left me. Yeah, he was Canadian, but now he's left with the UFC, and then got a win. Oh, he was my favorite, <laughs> and then he just decided to fuck off. Oh, God, look at all that money we're losing. I wonder if this is like TEW where eventually they're going to tell us, yeah, we just got to shut this thing down. And then this whole local to global thing is just Dunsky after that. <laughs> what is my, what is my, um, oh, crap, I forget where it's at. Popularity. 6.2, yeah, it's it could be better. <coughs> Why was that PS1 era cat there? I don't know. I don't know the decisions that get made for this uh, for this game uh, creatively. GSP. Yeah, I wonder when GSP starts in this. Oh, we got a, we got a show running the same time as uh, as UFC. I wonder where I wonder where that's happening. Does it say California? Okay. Well, I wonder if that means we're, we won't we won't even have that many people because of because of that. Yeah, yeah. There's the blur cat thing. I have no idea why that. I don't know. I think I think they've had that cat for a while as like a a mascot for the game, and they just never really. Jesus Christ! Look at that name. <laughs> Man, man, just when I thought like Khabib's Khabib's last name was was something, then there's this. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess I'll just take my lumps and uh, run a show the same night as uh, as UFC. This should go well. I will say though, I I've definitely booked my show before them, so I'm. Kind of peeved, but we'll see what happens. Uh, this is that Sergeant Slaughter looking dad? All right, Grand Prix 1998. Let's lose some money. All right, we don't know what the main event's going to be. We'll figure it out. It'll probably be Boss Rutten versus somebody. Uh, but we do have our crowning of our second Revolution FC Openweight Champion. Considering our first one left for UFC, we have not had. Uh, a new uh, we have not had a new champion uh, since May 
We were going to start settling some fights, but then we had uh, a lot of uh, roster changes for the guys who were going to be fighting for it. And uh, what we have here is yet another Grand Prix. And uh, so we'll be we'll be doing this one. And as you can see, we have eight competitors fighting. Uh, Brad Kohler will be, I believe this is the second one, as well as Dwayne Kaysan. Oh, I forgot Andre Roberts is in this. Oh, that's right. He's leaving. God, I forgot Andre the Chief Roberts, who's going to be leaving after this. And I think Valentin Overy might be as well. Uh, Rodney Glunder, who I don't think was in last year's. And then we'll have Alexander Frank and Noguera and Boss Rutten and Frank Trigg. 2002? Okay. You never know with some of these guys, honestly, because it might not just be his UFC debut. It might be like a full you know, whenever his MMA debut is. We'll see what happens. But uh, either way, those are our eight guys. And then we'll also see Snowman Jeff Monson uh, since uh, he lost his undefeated streak. And then uh, Fabiano Iha, which I believe those two are the ones who are facing. So there you see it. Boss Rutten versus Frank Trigg. Rodney Glunder versus Alexandra Franca Noguera. Brad Kohler versus Valentin Omarim. And Dwayne Kaysan versus Andre Roberts. And, of course, Boss Rutten versus Frank Trigg. Everyone's assuming Boss Rutten is going to walk away with this. I'm assuming Boss Rutten is going to walk away with this whole thing. We'll see what happens. Uh, you know, weirder things have happened, so we'll see. Uh, then we have uh, Rodney Glunder and uh, Alexander Frank and Noguera, which uh, very uh, back and forth between them. Uh, we'll see what happens. Glund Glunder with a significant weight advantage, but it seems as though Noguera has the slight edge uh, when it comes to uh, when it comes to whether or not he will win. We have scuffed Kurt Angle, who's apparently going to destroy Valentin Overeem. I can't remember if he's leaving too. Doesn't look like it. But yeah, he Valentin Overeem signed with uh, Pride FC, so he'll be gone after tonight. I don't think either one of these guys signed. Let me see. No, they're fine. They're fine. Uh, Boss didn't sign. Frank Trigg didn't sign. Okay, so Overeem, and then Dwayne Kason, who will be staying, versus Andre Roberts, who will be leaving for Pride after tonight. Uh, he has a slight advantage, but we'll see. You never know. Dwayne Kaysan uh, might be able to, to do this. And then, of course, the opening bout of Fabiano Iha versus snowman Jeff Monson. Monson not only has a significant weight advantage, but is considered the guy to win this fight by virtually everyone. And both these guys are actually staying good. <laughs> And so we start off with our opener before we get to our tournament fights. Hey, Light Death, what's up? <clears throat> let's see if I can let's see if I can try to pay a little bit more attention <laughs> as compared to last time. Oh, take that attempt from Monson. Monson doesn't look like the type of dude who would wrestle you. I don't know. There's just something about him that looks like very striker-ish. So to know that he's like a, a wrestling jujitsu guy is uh, is quite interesting to note. Uh, but nonetheless, it looks like um, I'm trying to see. I didn't see if they got stood up or not. No, it looks like attempted escape means I think he's still on him. So, uh, but let's see. Yeah, large bruise on his body. Round two. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Monson's going to have to come in here. See, looking for the takedown. Has the takedown. That should help him out. Oh, wait a minute. Eha trying to get us trying to get a submission in there. Monson, though, doing a good job with the takedown. As long as he keeps control throughout this round, they'll be getting to a third one. Uh, actually, it looks like, <laughs> nonetheless, Eha just kind of flipped him over and is just pounding away at Monson. Oh, well, oh, there you go. Now he taps him out with 31 seconds left. Fabiano Iha instead. It looked like he was going to win anyway at the end, but he ended up finishing him off with a rear naked choke with 31 seconds left in the fight. I got to say, Monson took two takedowns, and then he did nothing, and then he let Fabiano Iha just, just annihilate him. <laughs> so good job. Jesus. 
Good job, good job on the bringing him down and trying to wrestle him. That that worked wonders. Uh, Eha thanks everyone connected to his team. He celebrates his Revolution debut victory. He's looking towards the next fight. All right, here we go. We have our first tournament fight here. Dwayne Kaysan versus Andre the Chief Roberts. Spot in the semifinals. Big John McCarthy, the referee for this contest. Ooh, the difference in weight, a hundred and uh, almost 130 pounds. So we'll see what Kaysan can do here. It's very even between these guys, though. Can I go into edit and see when people debut? Yeah, yeah, I can do that. I should probably start importing like a new version of this and start importing more people because I think there's only like maybe 1,500 fighters in this realm and we can totally have more. <laughs> oh, Roberts already trying to trying to uh, force him there. He, get, he had some big strikes. Let's see if Kaysan could do something about it. Oh, looking for a takedown immediately. Jesus, Andre the Chief Roberts looking like he's going to try. Whoa, trying to fight off the Kimura attempt, though. Thought maybe he was just going to try to knock him out, but then he takes him to the ground. So he's got pounds away on Kaysan. Oh, more big strikes. Looks like he's just, just completely annihilating Dwayne Kaysan right now. Kaysan can't really do a whole lot right here. Andre Roberts just taking him there 10-9 on the card let's see here it should be 2018 yeah easy an easy 20 for Andre the Chief Roberts and he is going to go to the semifinals <laughs> I'm already a little nervous I'm already just a little yeah Dwayne Kaysan really does look like Hannibal Burris doesn't he <laughs> Oh, my God. All right. Scuffed Kurt Angle taking on Valentin Overeem. Once again, it would be nice if one of these guys who isn't going to be leaving after tonight would uh, would, would uh, sit here and win a fight. That would be nice. We'll see what happens, though. <laughs> Overeem shooting on in Kohler, but doesn't have it happen. See, looking for another takedown and tap, and it's blocked. Kohler going for it and gets him, though. Kohler gets the takedown. I like how this, th that, that's how thick this dude is, by the way, Brad Kohler. 5'9", 240. By the way, Valentin Overeem's no small dude. He's 6'3", 250. And he's only 10 pounds heavier than this 5'9", wall of meat. <laughs> And uh, Kohler doing the better job, I think, with the takedowns, and that seemed to do quite a lot for him. Seems uh, it, it shouldn't shock me that a guy from Minnesota is into shoot wrestling. Speaking of, over him going for the takedown. Let's see if Kohler can work his way out of this. Because uh, if he can't uh, if he can't win this, it'll be going to a uh, it'll be going to a third round here, and I think that might be what happens unless he locks in the submission, and it did. <laughs> oh my god! Just like that, with 20 seconds left, I figured all he had to do was survive, and he'd have another shot. Valentina Overeem, man, this is not helpful. <laughs> Taking the win over Brad Kohler. <laughs> Oh no, this is not this is not going good right now. <laughs> All right, this one this one I I, I honestly could go, have it go either way. I'd like Nogara to win. I think Nogara would be good here. But uh, Gludner versus uh, Nogara. Let's see what happens with this. <laughs> I'm already worried because I don't wanna I don't wanna sit here and start like naming people I want to win because I feel like the opposite's gonna happen. Never mind. Well, oh, oh, I thought he had it. I thought he had it that quickly. The name of the game is submissions tonight. Jesus. Oh, my God. Come on, man. Come on. He's he's really trying to get that locked in. He's really trying to get that in and win. My God. 
He's gonna tap this dude out. I feel like it's he's definitely gonna tap this dude out. But uh, they're saying Nogueira might have taken that one. <laughs> no jinxing allowed. Is he gonna is he gonna go shoot him back in for a takedown? Yep, there it is. I'm waiting for another submission attack here. Let's see what happens. Either that or he's just going to wrestle fuck him for the next two and a half minutes and take the win that way. I don't mind either way, honestly, at this point. <laughs> just just as long. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, nice. And Alexandra Franca Noguera is going to the semifinals if he locks in the arm triangle. 358 of round number two. Wow, everything's getting right towards the end of the second round here. What the hell is going to be submission of the night? I don't think we've had this many submissions in one in one show. Why do all Nogara fighters have like four names with nicknames? I have no idea. <laughs> all right, the final quarterfinal match here. Boss Rutten and Frank Trigg. Uh... I don't know who to root for. I'm assuming Rutan's gonna win this. It'd be kind of not it'd be kind of fun if Frank Trigg were to somehow get the upset here. I mean and it would be an upset. <laughs> so we'll we'll see what happens with that. Not to mention I think it would cost me way less money if Frank Trigg can somehow <laughs> get the win and not cost me for Boss Rutan having three fights. <laughs> He's going to cost me some money at the end of the night. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm just a little scared of what I what what I'm going to be uh Mike rooting, yep. <laughs> uh, I'm just a little scared of what it's going to look like here when uh when we get down to how much money I'm going to be doling out. Rooting winning the winning the uh the round on that one. I'm utterly shocked and amazed. Who knows? Maybe if Rutan ends up facing Nogera, I, I I think Nogera would be the guy that he'd be fighting next. Maybe uh, maybe Nogera could take down Rutan. He's a kickboxer. I don't know. I figured Frank Trigg would probably be the the, the best possible guy though. So we'll see what happens. <clears throat> <laughs> Boss room looks like a bald Phil Swift. He really does look like a salesman. Oh, let's see if that's gonna be enough here. I think I think uh I think that probably still end up Yeah, I think we got a twenty eighteen root and I think this is just gonna go to the judges and he's gonna walk away. Twenty eighteen. Yep, there you go. Boss Rutten taking the win. Average because there was no real finishes, but I'm sure we'll get some. Uh, later on, a lot of just uh, jabs, not a whole lot of anything in that 10 minutes, Jesus. Uh, but either way, I, it looks like Rutan's going to have to deal with Nogera, though. And Nogera seems to be very uh, aggressive towards his uh, submission. So we'll see what happens. There we go. Andre the Chief Roberts versus Valentin Overeem. I honestly don't care who the fuck wins because one of them's going to the finals. And I don't want either one of them winning the title. The last thing I need is someone winning the title. Who's the goddamn leaving tomorrow? <laughs> Do I have Frank overrated mirror? I don't think he's in here yet. Uh, who knows? Maybe once we get to like 99, he'll be he'll be showing up. I got to see when mirror when mirror starts up because I don't think I've seen him show up yet. This is the one time where I'm just like, you know what? Maybe Rutan should win just so he annihilates one of these two dudes in the finals. Overeem. Oh, got it. Valentin Overeem moving on to the finals of the Grand Prix 1998 as he taps out Andre the Chief Roberts. Good show by the Iowan, but he gets to go fuck off to pride now. <laughs> All right, Alexandra Franca Noguera, big time underdog against Boss Rutan, but you never know what'll happen here. Let's see, one of these two guys making it to the finals. <laughs> Tyler can't be, he becoming this man. Punk can't leave with the title. <laughs> uh, let's see what happens. Uh oh, 
Uh oh, it looks like maybe he. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Now he's cut. It looked like Boss Rutten was starting to uh, starting to hurt a little bit from his uh, previous fight. We'll see what happens here. He's fighting. He's fighting a guy much younger than him, quite a bit smaller than him. We'll see what happens. Nogueira is bleeding quite a bit. Maybe he should try to take him down. That might be what happens. Uh oh, another gash reopening. It looks like uh, Rutten's definitely going to be taking this one. Oh, wait a minute. Here comes the takedown. Oh, come on. Oh, couldn't get the takedown on him. Damn. Rutten definitely probably got that one. Yeah, we'll see what happens here. Nogueira's definitely going to have to come come in strong here. Let's see what he's got. Looking for a strike. Come on. There you go. Take down attempt. No. <laughs> Up against the ropes. Come on. Take him down. Oh. Oh. Keeps trying to take him down. Got it. All right. Trying to make it happen. Maybe that pass attempt might be enough to make it to the third round. We'll see what happens. Not a whole lot of strikes being thrown, but maybe he can tire him out. That might be what he, he can try to do here. Not a whole lot being done there. Oh, well, let's see what happens. They have Rootin' 2018. Let's see. All three judges give it 19-19. We're going to a third round. Let's go. The deciding round is here. Whoever wins this round wins the fight and is going on to the finals. Noguera got the takedown. He's got him down. Oh, my God. He's got him down. He's trying to throw some strikes. Rutten is, oh, Rutten's got to be able to try to do something here. Let's see what happens. Tries to sweep, can't get anything going. Passes the guard. He's definitely doing a lot better wrestling right now. Let's see. I don't know. This might be able to happen here. Let's see what happens. Is Nogara going to beat Boss Rutten? Rutten, Nogara, Nogara, Alexandra Franca, Nogara. One by split decision. He is beating Boss Rutten, and he is going on to the finals. What an upset by the underdog. The 20-year-old Brazilian underdog is going to the finals to take on Overeem. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. This, this could be something. <laughs> said i went offline and i had to refresh the app interesting <laughs> either way main event time valentine over him i feel the heel in this regard he's leaving for pride tomorrow <laughs> and facing the young 20 year old alexandra franca noguera he now is now four and zero oh in his rec pro record. Two of those wins coming tonight. He could be the open weight champion. Let's get this going. Revolution FC open weight championship on the line. This is the main event. We'll see what happens. He he has a he has a very large uh, weight difference here. Immediately takes down over him for a submission. Or at least has him pull guard. No, Gara. You know what? This has been working extremely well for him. As long as he keeps control, Overeem can't do a whole lot from this. Oh, wait a minute. Let's see if he's got a rear naked choke. No, he doesn't make it happen. Trying to make it. He's going to try to do it again, but does not make it happen. <laughs> Trying to do it a third time. Oh, my God. No. Time ran out before he could get the tap out. And we're going to... To round number two as he immediately goes in for, <laughs> for a submission. Jesus, it looked like he had it in, but the, the save by the bell was Overeem. And now he's going to take him down. Oh, my God. Overeem pounding away on him. I think Nogueira, if he can, if he can, stay, if he can stay in this, we're going to go to to another round here. Well, I think this is the main event and title fight. We're going to five rounds, I think. Final minute of the round. Here's another takedown attempt. Can't make it happen. That would uh, that would help Nogueira's... Uh, oh, wait a minute. Tries to take him down. Can't make it happen. And that is round two. Looks like Overeem got that one. We're tied potentially at 19-19. Round three. Here we go. 
Nogera trying to do it again. <laughs> oh my god. It's just whoever can get that first big takedown is probably going to make sure that they win this. Let's see what happens here. Come on. There's the takedown by Nogera. Ends up getting him passes, making the passes. That's all he needs to do is just keep control. Overeem can't do a whole lot, and that should be the end right there. We'll see potentially Nogera up as we get into round four and immediately go and he gets the takedown. Jesus, he's looking to end this or at least put this away in four rounds. Oh, my God. Kimura on Overeem but doesn't make it happen. Oh, my God. An arm bar still doesn't make it happen. Just that size advantage. Now we got a Kimura and still doesn't happen. Jesus. Nogera. All he has to do, I think, at this point is survive another minute, and this should be it. I think he might actually win this. Let's see. Move from the mount. Round four. All right. Potentially, he is up two rounds. I want to make this uh, feel feel somewhat uh, feel somewhat like maybe just maybe. I think he's won. I think he's won three rounds. I think round number three could have gone either way. We'll see what happens. Judges' scores being announced. All judges, 39-37. The winner of the Revolution FC Grand Prix 1998 and the new Revolution FC Open Weight Champion, Alexandra Franca Noguera. Holy shit. The underdog. The underdog overcoming Boss Rutten in the semifinals, eliminating Overeem to become the open weight champion. <laughs> that is it. Praises his team at American Kickboxing Academy, his sponsors and fans. He says he's very happy to win it. Wants to make this a springboard to future success. Oh boy, he's already planning on leaving. <laughs> Commercial rating did perfectly fine for what I wanted it to be anyway. Critical rating was great. A 74 should be good. 10,000. Eh, this is not going to go well. But, uh, you know, Boss Rutten only, I think, took, like, what, two, two fights? So I don't think we're going to lose too much money. We'll see what happens. 0.7%. Really? Is that all it's going to be? Uh, Valentin Overeem and Andre Roberts. Oh, my God. I want to give it to, man... Uh, who do I, do I want to give it to him? I mean, that's the one great fight. I kind of want to give it to Noguera. There was no knockouts. There were, what, three decisions, four decisions, and the rest were submissions. But they got Franca, uh, they got Noguera over uh, Glunder. So I'll just keep it as that. <laughs> Jesus. All right, let's see what how much money I lost. 18,000. That's how much. <laughs> Jesus. Boss Rutten took everything and then some. That's what I figured was going to happen. <laughs> I need to make money somehow. Valentin over him is gone. Minor hand injury. Okay, so that's definitely what happened to Rutten. So Valentin to Overeem and Roberts are gone. We have a lot of money that we're in debt. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to get us money, honestly, besides putting on shows. <laughs> but we only have so many people. Uh, let's see here. Kevin Randleman. Uh, he's probably cost way too much money. Not to mention, he'll stay with UFC. Yeah, see. Shamrock. Defense title. Uh, let's see. UFC. Going to keep him there. Andre Roberts. And we got that. Uh, let's see. Let's see who's. Um, let's see this. First off, let's uh, let's let's see that belt. Let's see that fifty-eight percent prestige. So it actually went down a little bit. But who knows? We'll see if uh, Nogara defending the title might uh, might do a little bit to it. So uh, we'll see what happens. Of course, we had D Dan Henderson win it uh, last year. Let's see, does it show exactly when it was? Yeah. Then he had the uh, the title defense against Ensign Inoue, and now Nogera beating Overeem. 
Jesus. All right. <laughs> Credibility is only at a 66, for God's sake. You said uh, Nogara and Rutan involved a big ratings difference. Hey. That did uh, that. That should be gangbusters. We should have better credibility just because of the fact that he he won a fight that he was an underdog for. I just gotta look and see when Mir and GSP debut. Yeah, let's let's check that. Um, first, I'm gonna save because I don't want to accidentally hit buttons that are not gonna that are gonna do something. Let me see, editor, or is it? I'm trying to make sure. Uh, yeah, it should be that, but now I'm trying to find there you go. Frank Mir. When does Frank Mir debut? August 2001. So we still got two and a half years. And George St. Pierre is November 2003. Jesus. Oh, just a look at this. When does Chuck Liddell come in? I think he, I think we should be close to Liddell's. Oh no, he's already in. Oh yeah, I forgot. Yeah, he just he just joined a little while ago, August '98. I'm trying to think if there's any other Randy Couture. <clears throat> oh, he's already in too. I just haven't been paying too much attention to UFC. Just who they've been taking from me. All right, so I'm going to look for some active fighters who are unemployed uh, men, because I don't think there's hardly any women in this for another, like, 10 years. Uh, max name value, a low-level regional in America. And maybe, maybe I'll just uh, say, let's see, the ones specifically their home region are no. What is it? Based in America. Specifically, maybe some guys who are kind of cheap. I always like to try to look for the cheaper guys. Just to make sure. A lot of eight, nine hundred dollar guys. Guys with no no faces. Alright, not a whole lot there. Uh, let's look at Canada real quick. Just the one dude. Um... See if Japan's got anybody. We got some guys, but no one who's like cheap. There's no cheap dudes. At least ones with faces. It's starting to get it's starting to get expensive to do this. <laughs> Maybe I should find some unknown dudes. Name value anywhere is just an unknown. Nobody. Nobody's oh yeah, based anywhere yeah name value in america based anywhere and unknown let's see if there's some guys he's still eight hundred dollars oh, there we go there's this dude oh he's with the team though i don't think he's gonna i don't think he's gonna leave yeah he's gonna stay with them yeah this is my idea is to try to find guys who are cheap not a lot of not a lot of cheap dudes. I might have to just start dipping into some of the eight hundred dollar guys. Maybe once I actually start making some money. <laughs> so it looks like I won't be worrying too much about. Uh... Oh, that's right. We haven't gotten the new set of guys yet because it's Sunday. That's right. We'll get our new guys now. All right. Fighter of the Year, Pedro Rizzo, 1998. Company of the Year, UFC. Fight of the Year was uh, Masakatsu Fanaki and Andre Koplov back in October for Pancrase. Knockout of the Year, Tank Abbott knocking out Rafael Carino. Show of the Year was uh, Pancrase's No Remorse. For that, for that, with that headliner fight, submission of the year, Fanaki. Yep, the same, same fight. Rookie of the year, Igor. This dude. Main events of the year, of course. Jesus, Pancrase just walking away with everything. Jesus. Team of the year, Carlson Gracie fight team. Upset of the year, really? Man, I almost thought maybe it was Nogueira. 
Worst fight of the year happened in Pride. Wow. Worst fight of the year. Pride FC 13. We saw Kazushi Sakuraba defeat Royce Gracie by decision. It was a complete train wreck. (laughs) Imagine saying that. Like, oh, yeah, Sakuraba and Gracie. Worst fight I've ever seen. (laughs) Travis Fulton. Ah, 1,000. Oh, shit. He's from Iowa, too. (laughs) Ah, I guess I'll have to shortlist him. Uh, Is there a way... There's not a lot of, uh, let's see here, see, there we go, cheap guy, cheap guys. That's what I need, four years, ten fights. No, we can stay at the five, right? There we go. At some point, UFC has to run out of guys, and they're going to stop taking my dudes. I can feel it. (laughs) At some point, it's going to happen. They're going to stop taking all my people and I can actually have guys (laughs) I'm thinking about just taking Travis Fulton anyway I wonder what I wonder what his what does his skills look like Eh, he's very raw takes on all comers and he takes short notice that Iowa bias (laughs) I mean I wonder what I wonder what he was actually like Travis Fulton Oh, Jesus. Look how many fights he already has. 53, 12, and 5. He is 21 years old. I think someone fucked up somewhere. This 21-year-old should not have already been in almost 70 fights. <laughs> you know what? I might I might sign him anyway, just because I could have another potential uh, guy who uh, could maybe headline here. Four years. 10 fights. We go up to like 10%. See if that helps. The only thing is, is if he wins, that's an extra $1,000 out of my pocket. But I think I'm going to just start doing more shows in like Nevada. Just so I have that, the the biggest possible, the biggest uh, possible, um, audience so I think I might just go forward a month because I know after that there's going to be some people who are not going to be around I always keep forgetting there it is yeah so we got guys who at least are going to be around not around for the next several weeks so I'm just going to go through a month before I start signing you know getting new people signed up Especially considering I think we did two shows pretty close to each other. So there's a lot of guys who are, um, you know what? I'll just skip that and see. I'll get an email about what happened. Never heard the name before. Me neither. Watch. He's like, he's like, oh yeah, he got signed by UFC. <laughs> oh, look, Joel Sutton got, uh, is being approached by UFC. So we got the Thomas Denny dude. Uh, Travis Fulton. Okay, Pride got him this time. All right, so Travis Fulton's going to go to Pride. Suzuki beat his guy. Dwayne Case on left his team. Legic signs. And he's not going to be with us. Cool. Uh, I would say that we should have more more companies, but honestly, it's like, fuck, dude. I don't need more people to, to, to fight with as far as these uh, these people go. Oh, Brad Kohler left the Team Fry 7 team. I don't know how good that's going to be. Boss Rutten is now recovered. Okay. Nogueira joined Next Generation MMA. Fulton signs with pride. Man, I mean, his kickboxing thing, I mean, it just... Who's all at Next Generation MMA? Now I need to. Now I want to know who's at Next Generation MMA. All right, Joel Sutton, long-term member. Eric Paulson. Okay. Keith Mielke. Kevin Jackson. Chris Brennan's a permanent member. And then Nick Santo, Lance Gibson, and Nogara. And he left what American Kickboxing Academy with. 
Brian Johnson, and then you have, you know, just some nobodies like Heath Herring. <laughs> and let's see here, Tony Freakland. He joined them. Matty Anderson. Did we have Mikey Burnett? I think we had, yeah, we had Mikey Burnett for a couple couple fights before he got signed. <laughs> We might as well, I feel like we might as well just get supplemented by UFC at some point and just become a child promotion for them, if at all possible. I wonder if we can, oh, I just realized, I wonder if we can do that. I wonder if we can go up to UFC. Are we able to, like, are we able to, like, talk to them? I would love to know if we could have, like, some sort of working relationship. That would be nice, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. I mean, they don't really do that for MMA, I, I guess. But that'd be nice. Be like, hey, we could be like a feeder league for you guys. Just make sure we don't go too far into debt and <laughs> stop taking all our people. <clears throat> uh, have we made any money? We've made $22 in profit, so only about... 35 more years and I think we might we might uh, be back out of debt. Revolution the UFC training ground. Yeah, it really is though. <laughs> mm. Mm. There we go. I had some tea. <clears throat> Um, okay. Now we made $71. We're doing great. <laughs> All right. One more week and uh, we'll try to maybe sign some people, whoever might be coming out in uh, February and uh, bring bring people in. I think there's a new version of this exact mod that has like 3,000. Like it has at least twice as many people and a lot more companies as well. Really should be something I should probably think about. Uh, oh my God, Ron H2L Waterman. <laughs> oh, that's a name I have not heard in a long time. I'm sure he's going to get snapped up quickly by UFC, but we'll at least make a shot. Eugene Jackson. He's 130 bucks a fight. Why not? Standard four years, 10 fights. Make that happen. I don't know. His skills, they, they, might, they might just take him too. Who knows? And I think that's good. <laughs> um... Let's see. I'm trying to see if there's any other dudes. I should keep it like this and just see if there's any dudes outside of that that uh, I could potentially grab. So I I got him. I don't really care. About, I don't really care for faceless dudes at this point. So, yeah, at some point, I think I'm going to have to start looking at, like, $800 dudes, but I'm not going to worry too much about that right now. <laughs> Travis Fulton. Uh, you know what? Here, I'm just going to take him off the short list already because that's, that's not going to help. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Can't save a template to save time. I don't know. I could, I could see. I could just import people. I don't know. We'll see. Um yeah, I think I might I think I might go through just a few days. Ralph Gracie. Is he signed with somebody? Twenty six hundred a fight. Eh. Dude looks crazy. He looks like the Diaz brother version of a Gracie. <laughs> he looks like he looks like if one of the Gracies was trying to be a Diaz brother, that would be him. All right. Um, you know what? I might add one of those two. Eh, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go just a few days. Wait until I get the okay that uh, oh Sakuraba. That's eh, fine. 
All right, let's see if they sign. Uh-oh, Sakuraba's in renegotiation. Eugene Jackson signed. Do they still want him? I'll take this Sakuraba guy off your hands. I don't think I don't think he probably Yeah, they've already extended a deal, of course. <laughs> and I couldn't sign him anyway. Oh yeah, don't blacklist him. Yeah, he's been doing he's been doing great right now. Uh one more. We'll just go to the next Monday. I think I think uh Oh, UFC are trying to get Sakuraba. And was I trying to get him? Did I sign him? I don't know. They offered him a contract. Ron Waterman is here, though. So let's get... Uh, let me see the last one. It was 9. So Revolution 10 is going to be the next one. So let's get that there. We'll schedule it for Saturday... Uh, let's try the end of March. Let's see who's ready for that. Everyone but Rutan, Kason, and Monson. So you know what? I think that's probably good. In fact, I'm going to start backing it up and see how far back I can go. Are you guys willing to go? All right, Royce Alger is one of the guys who would be unavailable for that. Um, I feel like doing that, though. Let's do, oh my god, basic regional. That's 8000 a month. But it's one month worth of, here, I'm going to do, uh, man, every time like I do this, I don't bring in that many people. $564. I wonder, I wonder if I should do drug testing, but once again, that's another thing where it's like, uh... Damn. Fedor debut yet? I don't think so. Yeah, let's just do that. We'll do that without Royce Alger. He'll be on the next one with Rootin and Case on. Alright. I just want to do a month's worth. Let's see, let's see what happens when I put a little bit of effort into um you know doing that. I think we should have a title defense. Or or I should get uh maybe a couple guys who could fight for it. <laughs> Let me see some guys who might have a little bit of a hot streak going. Uh, Dennis Kang. I think Eha. Eha could have a shot. Um, James Shafa. Ooh, okay. Uematsu. What if we did uh, Uematsu and... Let's see, was Eha up here? Eh, it's a little bit. <clears throat> They're both on winning streaks, but uh, you know what? That might that I, I think that might work out. The idea is one of these two would get a shot <clears throat> a shot at the title. So yeah, I think Eha coming in even after just the one win, and then Uematsu is coming in off three straight wins. Needs a guy to fight, and I think this is the guy he's going to fight. I'm trying to think. Oh, I do have Wiswinski. Okay, that's why they did that. <clears throat> trying to think if there's anybody. Isn't Joel Sutton signed to UFC? No. Or at least they were talking to him, didn't he? No? I thought they did. I thought I saw that he was. Hmm. Yeah, he's got the one. He's got the one fight. Let me see this fight. Let me see who was in there. Oh, Elvarim Alger. Alger broke his losing streak, I believe. Gara Sutton. Let's see Masatoshi Abe. I think. I think maybe. Let's see. Let's see what the Sutton fight looks like. Um, definitely looks more in line with Uematsu. But I think it's a little bit closer. So we'll give it to Sutton. Since Eha just, just debuted. I mean, Sutton kind of did too, but I mean, he was in UFC in Pride. So we'll give him a, I think we'll give him a shot. Add that fight. That could be main event, I think, right? 
Both these guys could main event. Yep. All right. Um, let's see here. I want to try to. I want to try to maybe get some get some cheaper guys. We can put Glunder back out there against. Uh, uh, we could do. Uh, Man, I don't want to have to do that to the, to him, but uh, let's see if there's let's see if there's something that could uh, do a little bit better. So he's on a winning streak. He's coming off a defeat. He's been losing quite a bit. Here, both these guys need a win. Blunder and Takeuchi. We'll add that one. <laughs> We'll put um, we'll put Kohler out there against. He's a guy he could face. We could try Eha. Eha just hit, he has a bit of a winning streak going. We'll see what he can do against uh, Kohler. See if he has the uh, opportunity to be able to uh, be next in line for the title at some point. I think that'd work out. Uh, we'll try this Logic Lige Logic I'm not sure I'm probably butchering that and that's on me <laughs> uh, let's take let's take uh, old man Rob Schreiber and his balding hair see what happens here Um, let's go, I wonder if J.R. Palmer, just to be a guy who brings a little bit, brings a little bit to his, uh, name. He could face Mark Hall. These two fought each other already. Uh, Trig, no, Trig's, that's a little bit too. Brandon Lee Hinkle. Uh, Ian James Shaffa might not be too bad. See if he can break his losing streak on him. See what happens with that, maybe. Uh, so that's five. We need three more. Let's get Frank Trigg out there. And we'll have him face... Oh, man, there's, there's not going to be a whole lot, is there? Uh, we can have him face Gomi. Takanori Gomi, in fact, he's supposed to be better than him. So this might be kind of a, hey, who's this dude? And then boom. Yeah, it looks like he hasn't had a, a fight either. Uh, I need to get Ron Waterman a spot. As to who it's going to be, not sure. Uh, Dave Monet could be, he's a potential main eventer. Um... That's a possibly Dennis Kang. He's only had one fight compared to Manet, who's at six. So I might do Kang just because we can get some more stuff in here. I wonder if I should do a Wisniewski fight. Um, maybe, maybe try to job his ass out before he leaves, before he officially signs. Steve Lee. Oh, Steve Lee. We need to give Steve Lee a shot <laughs> against Ron Waterman, though. <laughs> ah, screw it. Steve Lee. <laughs> All right. Since he's going to be since he's going to be leaving, let's see if there's someone we can. Let's see if there's a guy we can try to put over. Who do we want to who do we want to put over? <laughs> we just signed Thomas Denny, but that one looks like it's not going to go too well. Uh, Abe, Abe's coming off a defeat and that's a, that's a real maybe there. Let's see here. Hankel's coming off a defeat. Um, that might be a good idea. Give him another fight too. Uh, yeah, Dave Manet's had like six fights too. Gaza Common, Hall. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm thinking Brandon Lee Hinkle. That's gonna be that's gonna be our opening fight. 
There we go. So before he can sign on the dotted line, we're putting him in a fight. And we're going to have ourselves, let's see, one, two, three, four. Oh, that's eight right there. All right, there's your eight fights. Perfect. And I think we're good. I think we're uh, set and ready to go for one month from now. Uh, 55 minutes. I could probably just, I could probably zip on over to that. We can have at least that taken care of. Go through each week. And he's going to be like, but I just signed with UFC. Yeah, too bad. Dan Henderson and Carlos Newton in a fight that is just designed to tear my heart apart. <laughs> To be fair, I knew Henderson was going to be, Henderson was going to be, let's see. Yeah, Henderson, oh my God. Carlos, this is what you left? You left, you left us to get knocked out by Dan Henderson in a minute 16. Good job. Good job. This is what, this is what you left us for. All right, let's see here. Henderson versus Newton. Sakuraba signed with Pride. Wazinski signed with UFC. Hey, who cares? Monday, there we go. <clears throat> Last rights. Uh oh. Recently broken, the financial situation has continued to decline. The company is genuinely on the brink of bankruptcy. <laughs> Worst case scenario is the organization's creditors could refuse to give any further time, in which case the company will have no chance of survival. Uh-oh. So does that mean that I got one more month of this and then we're pretty much done-ski? <laughs> I am losing money. This might not be doing any better. <laughs> Uh-oh. Am I about to get through like am I about to get through the month here and then find out that I'm done? Is this go is this going to be it? Am I am I about to am I about to be done? I might have to start over. All right, so we're still alive right now. <laughs> Japanese economic news. Give way to slump, the economy is about to enter a second boom period. Scott Adams, that looks like a dude. That absolutely looks like a dude who should be fighting for $110. <laughs> Hashtag new mod. It doesn't help that I lost so many goddamn people. Also, the throwing as much money as I threw at um, Boss Rutten probably didn't help either. Uh, this dude, uh, Robert Villegas, I feel like I've heard his name before and I just don't remember. But I'll keep signing deals right now, as long as you allow me to keep making money. But I'm thinking there's a point where they could be like, nah, you're done. <clears throat> All right, I'm just going to keep marching on until, until they tell me I'm done. Maybe, maybe the fight, maybe having a show where I start putting a dent in the, uh, in this. Oh, well, he immediately signed with pride. Suzuki, he signed. Cool. Militich is going to be fighting the UFC again. All right. Is there a way I can look at the, let me, let me look at the news search. We'll do uh, anything with us. See if there's anything else. A lot of people signing. Uh, anything about? I, I feel like we should we should have a little bit of something that says, "Hey, by the way, we about to, we about to go under." I feel almost like cheating just so I can have a little bit of money and just can try to try to chug on. Be like, thank God. Some random, some random millionaire has gifted me fifty thousand dollars to keep me afloat, <laughs> and we can keep this going. Because I feel like I don't know if I need to make a dent in in what I'm doing, or if I need to be completely, completely out of debt, which I don't think is going to happen here. I'm trying, but probably not going to happen. 
All right, so here we go to what could potentially be the final show of Revolution FC. <laughs> and then I'll have to rethink how I do these. <laughs> I feel like I feel like saving after I'm done with this show, just in case I feel like cheating, just to kind of keep this alive a little bit and just like as a nice reminder, be like, just by the way, don't sign Boss Rootin. If you if you do this and you want to make money, don't sign Boss Rootin. It doesn't help. All right, so this is everything right here. Joel Sutton versus Naoya Uematsu in the main event. Winner could or could not have a U Revolution FC open weight title match in the future. Uh, so that's our main event. We got eight fights going on here. As uh, Uematsu is considered the overwhelming favorite, even though he has uh, lesser reach and weight. And then we'll have Glunder and Takeuchi, who are both uh, very, um, uh, very even in their in their deals. Scuff Kurt Angle taking on uh, Fabiano Iha, and uh, he's considered uh, just a little bit. Uh, it's kind of even still between them as well. Tim Lajik versus Bob Schreiber. Jesus Christ, I picked two of the friggin' worst names to do this for too. Are they both? He's Czech and he's Dutch. Yeah. Uh, but they're thinking uh, Lajic. Uh, I'll go with Lajic. I'm thinking the... Or Lasik. Something something over here is silent. I'm thinking the J. Might be like Laz Lasik. I don't know. I'm probably butchering it. I know I'm butchering it. I'll go with Lasik. <laughs> He's an eye doctor in his spare time. When he's not fighting, he's helping people retain their eyesight. J.R. Palmer's back to uh, spend our money and uh, take on Ian James Shaffa. And then Frank Trigg and Takanori Gomi. Looks like Gomi's considered the, the better guy here. Ron Waterman in his debut against Steve Lee. I hope Steve Lee wins just for the just for the memes. Keith Wisniewski, who uh, is getting off the Titanic before it sings, take it on Brandon Lee Hinkle. Uh, they're assuming, though, that Hinkle is going to be the guy to win, and that is our opener. <laughs> Mario Yamazaki. Oh, God. We're going to kill the dude before he goes to UFC. Let's go. <laughs> I feel like I feel like if I do this again, I'm just gonna give myself like a hundred grand. Be like, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna give myself just a, just a little bit to keep myself afloat for a few years, and keep uh, keep going. <laughs> so, just as a reminder to anyone who does a local to global for this, which I don't think is a whole lot of people, give yourself a little bit of money because you're not gonna make it. <laughs> you're not gonna. <laughs> <laughs> or don't do most of your shows in Iowa. Do your shows in like California and Nevada and New York. <laughs> don't do it where you're only got like a 40%. Yeah, that was probably one of my big ones too. It's like I wanted to do local shows, but it's like, fuck it. I should really have just done most of my shows in Vegas and just, you know, just, just gotten that money. <clears throat> Is Henkel doing well? I haven't seen too much. <laughs> you don't have WMMA at all. We should change that. I should talk to. I should. I should talk to somebody at uh, Gray Dog about that. Maybe. Maybe give something away. I know. I know he was talking to me about that before. One of the. One of the guys. Let's see. Sharp blow, glancing elbow strike. So that's a cut. Let's see. Hinkle, maybe, might be able to have uh, gotten that one. We'll see what happens here. 2018 Hinkle, 1919, 2018 Hinkle. And there you go. Brandon Lee Hinkle getting his first pro win. Keith Wisniewski going to be packing his bags for the UFC off that loss. Hinkle thanking everyone connected to Hammer House. 
There we go. Praises Wisniewski for his toughness and has a lot of respect for him. I need to come up with a nickname for him. I'm thinking second-rate Frank Mir or scuffed Frank Mir. We have scuffed Kurt Angle. We need scuffed Frank Mir. <laughs> see sorry I had to plug in my phone because it was gonna die on me at some point oh take down the tent from Waterman come on Steve come on Steve uh oh take down the tent uh oh turtled up Lee wow Waterman is just come on uh oh we're gonna make a choke nope doesn't make it happen just for the just for the memes, I want Steve Lee to win. Come on. Oh God. No, Waterman's just gonna just annihilate him, it looks like. This is betting line, it's not what it should be. <laughs> come on, Steve. Steve Lee, come on. I want this balding man, this balding twenty two year old man, six eight, two eighty four to walk away with this. Come on. By the way, 6'8", 284, for fuck's sake. You're a big dude. Throw your arms. Never mind. <laughs> Waterman just beating the piss out of him. So this Ron Waterman guy seems like he's pretty good. And it looks like Steve Lee's going to end up with another loss. Tried to do his best wasn't wasn't gonna happen and that's the end and it looks like waterman's gonna get the 2018 i think that's uh, i do we even have to yeah there you go 2018 unanimous decision for ron waterman steve lee not able to make it happen but he did win his uh revolution debut steve not bruce lee speaking of american kickboxing academy uh, he thanks them, and he's uh, delighted. He celebrates starting his revolution career with a win and perhaps ending his revolution career with a win. <laughs> Frank Trigg versus Takanori Gomi. Oh, my God. Now you just now I just think about all the guys that I convinced to come to America and try to make their name, and now they're just stuck in America because <laughs> they can't even do the fights <laughs> in front of fucking... <laughs> 150 people in Vegas. I'm wondering where we would actually host this. Like with 150 people, we're not going to be in like MGM Grand Arena. I feel like we're just going to be in like a bar with a with like a um, you know maybe like a some sort of club that has a dance floor, but instead of instead of being used for dance and tables and all that, it just pushed aside for a for a uh, for a, for a ring. I could see it. It's like bar wrestling, but it's just bar MMA. <laughs> 150 people to see these guys who end up going to UFC where they start their career. I feel like that would also be the best way to... Uh, oh, oh, Trig, Trig, Trig uh, is working on him here. I didn't see if Gomi had the uh, advantage in the first in the first round. I didn't see that. We'll see what happens. Trig with another nice takedown attempt. Nope. Tries a judo throw. Oh Jesus Christ! Hopefully, go. I didn't see if Gomi won the first. <laughs> oh God! I don't know if it's gonna mean anything. Trig definitely really has only had night 10 9. <laughs> we'll see what happens. All three judges 19 19. Let's go. Trig versus Gomi. Oh my god. Let's see. Get a shoot. Uh, doesn't make anything happen. Takedown attempt. Got it. All right. Well, I don't think Gomi's going to make this happen. You bet your money on Frank Trigg. You're about to make some money. Let's see here. Running the clock down. That's about all he needs to do at this point because I don't think Gomi's going to be able to do anything in the, in the last minute. Oh, yeah, there goes another takedown. Yeah, this is definitely Frank Trigg's now. Is, is, there's, no, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about this one. 
Couldn't manage to do anything at the end there. And Trigg should be getting unanimous decision here. There you go. Good win for Trigg. Gomi did it did had a, he had a shot, but wasn't able to make it happen. Thanks to sponsor showing respect. He praises Gomi for his skill and toughness. All right, J.R. Palmer versus Ian James Shaffa. Nothing in my mind would love to have Ian James Shaffa win this. If for no other reason than his win bonus is going to be, oh, God, his win bonus is still going to be 800 bucks. I guess it's not quite the, I, did I sign him to 1,000? I think I signed him to 1,000. Oh, either way, welcome to the uh, fight where I lose my goddamn money. <laughs> Hopefully it's a good one. Last thing I need is two guys are about to take what le what's left of my money, <laughs> and it means nothing. And <laughs> they just have a crap mat, just a crap fight. Uh, Ian James Shaffa getting the knockout win. Thank God. I just didn't even realize that he already knocked him out that quickly. I was like looking over at my Twitter, and the next thing I know, it's over. Massive head kick. Jesus Christ, he can custom. Palmer's done. One one head kick, and it's over. He is out. Ian James Shaffa gives a name check to everybody, and there you go. Jesus. Tom Lasik, Lasik, and Dirty Bob Schreiber. Balding old man, Dirty Bob Schreiber. As I'm as I'm searching for something over on a on a uh, on a side monitor because stuff has just popped up. I feel like I'm gonna need. So I'm just looking. Um, but okay, let's see here. Exchange of blows. Alright, I'm gonna look at this later. But of course, I'm sure by the time I'm done I'm done with this. Stuff that I might want. Ah go away! My my <laughs> my my uh, uh, browser wanted me to create an account. Like no, round one Schreiber. Let's see here. He could he could maybe use a win. This uh this uh this Bohemian, <laughs> this uh, Bohemian guy, the Lajic. You know he's four zero. Could use a could use a loss. Against a guy like Bob Schreiber would be fantastic, just because it'd be funny. <laughs> Schreiber is just, he's shattered. Oh, he's so tired. He's gassed, man. He's just a smaller white Bob Sap. Just can't do it anymore. Oh, my God. Take that attempt. Doesn't make it happen, though. Tries it again. Doesn't make it happen. Tries it again. Got it. That might be enough to give him the, the win in this one. Yeah, 1919. We'll see what happens here. The official scores 1919. We're going to a third round, and Bob Schreiber is just very unhappy about that because of how gassed he is. Let's go. Immediate takedown. I don't think this is going to go well for Schreiber now. I just don't see this happening. Lasik is just going to fire away at him at this point. Looks almost out on his feet. Come on, is he gonna is he gonna die in the middle of a fight like Dada Five Thousand? Is this is this just Dada Five Thousand? <laughs> Scores are being announced. All of it twenty nine twenty eight unanimous decision for Tim Lajic. Lasik. Decent, I guess. <laughs> He's very happy to cap his Revolution debut with a win. Name checks his sponsors and fans. Scuff Kurt Angle versus Fabiano Iha. See what happens here. Let's go. Uh, I think Kohler could really use this one. We'll see. We got a wrestler and a jujitsu guy, so I'm not thinking it's going to take very long before someone takes down the other. <laughs> So we'll see what happens here. Maybe. <laughs> He's using his wrestling skills. We'll see what happens. 
You think you think something would happen? They're they're doing a lot of oh there we go take that attempt Kohler gets it pounds away see if he can get uh, get something going here that might be enough to give him the uh, the uh, round here though see what happens round number two Eha's gonna he, he's kind of working from behind here he's gonna have to do a little bit more. And avoiding the jab. He's gotta he's gotta make something happen. He's gotta try to get some takedowns or something. But against a shoot wrestler. Oh, here we go. No. <laughs> Can't make it happen. Just as soon as I was telling you about it. He's keeping Kohler at bay, but now Kohler takes him down. Oh no. Oh, scuff Kurt Angle's gonna take it. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh no. Kohler trying to get the win, but does not make it happen. <laughs> Getting his hooks in, tries to make it happen, just just holding them off. Yep, just holding them off long enough, and I think that should be it. Oh, maybe we'll see. I'm thinking Kohler wins this. I don't think it's going to be 19-19. Wow, they did give it 19-19. All right, well, okay. Kohler immediately going to try to take him down, though. Make him have to out-wrestle him. <clears throat> okay. Gets in the full guard. I think he I think he managed to get on top. Let's see. Oh, trying to come over him. He got him. He got him. He tapped him out. I thought Kohler was out wrestling him extremely well, but Eha gets him. 323 into round number three. Ends up getting the submission. Nice win for Fabiano Eha. Praises Kohler for his skill and toughness. That was a good fight. I thought I thought for sure Kohler had that one. Seemed like he was going to walk away with it. All right. Co-main event, Rodney Glunder, Izuru Takeuchi. Both guys could be using a good win here. We'll see what happens as I look over at something else real quick. <laughs> I'm just trying to look at something as well. See if there's there's things I want to buy that uh, may or may not be. Oh, yep, one thing's already out of stock. <laughs> Just as soon as I sit here, I'm like, this might be. Nope, never mind. <laughs> uh, see what happens. Round one. It looks like Takeuchi might have just barely gotten that one. We'll see what happens though. Takeuchi trying to keep him, trying to keep him here. Glunder's gonna have to do a little bit of something. He's gonna have to maybe try something here. He's a bit tense. I don't, I don't know. He might be shaking. He might not be able to make something happen here. Uh oh. Well, now he's taken down. I think that's gonna be it for Glunder. Uh oh. Well, good try. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, Glunder's just yeah. Oh my God! That that nothing nothing says you've given up quite like tur nothing like the words turtling up. Oh yeah, he's turtled up. That's it. <laughs> yeah, Takeuchi running away with that one. GG. <laughs> Decent enough, but we go on to the main event. As I'm just looking at something else real quick. Sorry. Okay. All right. Takeuchi praising his team at American Kickboxing Academy. Show of respect to his opponent. Main event, a potential. Uh, a potential. Uh, well, I would say not even so much potential, but if we manage to actually put on another show. <laughs> Um, this will, the, one of these guys will be fighting for the open weight title. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Joel Sutton versus Naoya, Naoya Uematsu. Sutton much bigger, 5'10", 225 versus 5'4", 155. But Uematsu's got a strong advantage here. We'll see what happens. And immediately opened up with a strike. Jesus. 
Doesn't Sutton's picture look like a mugshot? Combined with the fact that he knows kung fu. Like, this seems like a dude who just got in one too many bar fights and just says, like, are you a fighter? Yeah, I know kung fu. And then he's just drunk and that's it. <laughs> there you go. Shoot for a takedown. That's what we need. Hey, Jack, what's up? Oh, my God. Uematsu immediately, <laughs> as soon as he takes him down, gets a knee bar in. Oh, Sutton didn't learn that when he was busy bar fighting up in Buffalo. As uh, he's gonna be, as he's gonna be walking away with a loss, Uematsu, uh, I would consider the uh, the new number one contender for the Revolution FC Open Weight Championship. Praises his sponsors. He says a tough fight gives a show, a show of respect to Sutton. He did get a little bit of bleeding here, and uh, a lot of decent fights. Commercial rating uh, was okay for what we needed. Critical rating was great. We only got 136 people showing up to this bar. Went up by 0.6%. I don't think we're making the money that I would like them to make. But Uematsu getting submission, Iha getting fight of the night, I would give that to him. And Shafa getting knockout of the night. As uh, we see how much money we lost. And uh, hey, we gained $7,000. Look at that. Sponsorship and merchandise helping out with the gate receipt, keeping the uh, the uh, fighter expenditure down along with production. Not having to drug test people, that's 7000 in the bank. Maybe we'll live to fight another day. We'll see what happens. <clears throat> Wisniewski is gone. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if they'll like that. <laughs> I don't know if we did enough. We technically still lost a little bit. Well, I mean, yeah, it's still technically lost a little bit of money on that because of how much we put towards the uh, the promotion. So ugh, we'll see what happens. Um, I'm thinking we give it we give it a day here, and uh, I'll just go ahead and save it here as a just in case we we end up not having a uh, we end up not having a promotion. <laughs> after this uh do we even get do we even get in the world rankings at all oh there's boss rooting okay and then i think that's about it everyone else is yeah i don't i don't blame them i haven't even i haven't even updated our own ranking system let's see we update the rankings this is what we look at boss rooting one jay palmer oh my god where the hell is our champion who should be at number one he's not even listed Jesus, yeah, we're gonna save it and hope to God that uh, that uh, maybe we we can we can go again at this. <laughs> if nothing else, I don't know. I maybe I should maybe I should leave that down to anyone who who watches this to the end. I guess leave a comment if you're okay with me throwing like fifty grand in here if we do shut down, so that I can keep this going. With a lesson learned and knowledge that I'm not that I'm not the best at, at, at working this game. Uh, but our popularity is up to a 7.5. I really wish it could be a little bit better, or we could have you know a little bit of something with with like a little bit of TV or something. I don't think we can. Uh, yeah, we, I don't think anyone is willing to approach us. No, no one's willing to. approach There's no small. There's nothing small that we could we could join in it's just everything's big and yeah oof look at this mid-level national is there any ones that are actually regional <laughs> i don't think there's any high level regional but that's in japan so we're kind of hosed on that one yeah we need some like we need some like public access some some public oh there we go seg in america there you go high level regional Oh, Max Companies is a one. Oof. Yeah, we need we need some like public access stuff. Minimum commercial, mid level regional, minimum companies, minimal, yeah, high level regional, but that's in Japan, and Pancrase is there. Good lord. So yeah, things are not looking up, but we'll see what happens. So I think I'll try just a little bit of football. Because I haven't played NCAA in a little bit. But uh, there you go for those of you here. So I'll do that um, next on stream. If you are watching this on YouTube, once again, 
uh, if you're okay with <laughs> me doing that. I'll probably import some more people, too, because like I said, I'm pretty sure there's only about 15 or 1,600 fighters in this. Uh, I'll definitely have to look into importing more people, and then we'll probably have a whole host of people that we can use in the future. Um, so we'll see how that works. So, yeah, thank you, and I will see you uh, next time.